Ariane felt nervous that she apologized to Rain, but he was so mad that she left the room, feeling ashamed of herself. Ingrid was concerned and asked why, she looked sad, and Ariane said, I'm so ashamed for declining Rain Martin's offer of joining him for lunch with Hannah. He was so angry. I didn't expect it to be such a big deal for him. To comfort Ariane, she brought her to the cafeteria for lunch to put off her worry from her mind. Ingrid then suggested that Ariane should face Rain bravely and apologize, but Ariane was too afraid and ashamed. Take courage, Ariane. Don't forget why you got here in the first place. How would you face him if you let cowardice get over you? Ariane was jolted awake as if she had been douched with cold water. She regained her composure and said, I'm not backing out, it was just a momentary fear. Ariane and Ingrid returned to their respective workplaces, but she felt everyone's eyes on her, making her even more uncomfortable. She decided to focus on her work, and that's when Hannah Benning approached her. Hannah, in an authoritative voice, said, Mr. Rain Morrison tasked us with studying a proposal from our group company, due for our report tomorrow. You are responsible for handling this task carefully and providing valuable feedback on the proposal. I will review your work tomorrow and might make revisions based on its validity. We will both sign the report once it's completed. To make it easier, go to the company's website. I expect positive results tomorrow. Do you understand the task at hand? Ariane nodded without saying a word. Ariane took the task assigned and put in a lot of effort to improve the marketing strategies of the malls and its supermarkets managed by the company. It took her all night to develop more credibility to the proposal. Ariane's adrenaline surged as she generated more ideas than she could fathom. However, her enthusiasm was interrupted by the coming of the building security who noticed her working alone. Excuse me, miss. But were you allowed to stay on at this hour because everyone had left and here you are all alone. I'm trying to understand why you are still here. You are only allowed to stay on for overtime. If you have permission, can I see the authorization letter, please? Ariane was in a dilemma as no one had informed her about the overtime permit. She was already at the peak of her ideas and wanted to maintain her momentum. Feeling troubled, she pleaded, Sir, I have no permit, and no one even bothered to inform me. All I knew was that I had to finish this report for tomorrow's meeting with the CEO. I'm still new here, sir. I started only this morning, and then Miss Benning gave me this task. She should have told me about this overtime ruling and none of my colleagues noted this. Can we let this pass for tonight because I don't want to lose this job, sir? The security understood her situation, so they agreed in unison. Ariane focused on her work and from time to time made stretches until she succumbed to fatigue and dozed off on her table. Seeing her asleep, the security checked the time and it was already 2 in the morning. They didn't wake her up and instead, they turned off the lights in her area, allowing her to sleep. Early in the morning, Rain went jogging before going to his tennis routine. He recalled that his tennis equipment was left in his office the day before. He called Neil and said, Hey Neil, I think I left my tennis equipment in the office when I came rushing a day ago. Neil, his chauffeur, replied, Yes master, you hurriedly went to your office because of a sudden emergency meeting and you changed your clothes right there. When they arrived at the building, one of the security met Ray Martin to inform him that one of his employees had worked overnight in the office and was still sleeping on her table. Curious, Rainy Martin asked, who was this employee? According to her, she was tasked by Miss Benning to finish the report for today's meeting and that she was a newbie hired only yesterday. Rain Martin rushed to the lift and entered his office quietly. He saw her her head resting on her table and heard her snoring. Rain gently caressed her hair that partially covered her face and was captivated by her beauty. He looked at the papers she had worked on, and when he pulled the last piece protruding under her elbow, 
Ariane sprung up. Still in a haze, Ariane glanced around her, her eyes, still blurry from sudden awakening, she didn't recognize Ray Martin and, thinking it was the security in front of her, smiled and said, Sorry, I dozed off. Thank you for securing my place. What will Ariane uncover about Ray Martin now that she begins her new role as his personal assistant in his company? Part 7 follows.